Okay, Assalamualaikum student uh, Now I'll, I will explain on example number 2 eh, For the topic pile foundation Okay for the question A driven pile in clay is shown in the figure below yeah? The pile has an outer diameter yeah, of uh, 457 mm Okay A calculate the skin friction QS yeah, by 1 the alpha method Yeah Right, alpha method and then using lambda method and beta method yeah so for the beta method yeah use phi r prime equal to 30 degree yeah for all clay layer for top 10 uh, meter of the clay is normally consolidated and yeah? the bottom layer is ocr uh, mm? equal to 2 yeah all right over consolidated yeah all right ocr 2 equal to 2 yeah so b using qp equal to 151 kilonewton yeah estimate the allowable pile capacity yeah use factor of safety equal to 4 all right so for the solution yeah Okay, for the uh, alpha method, so to calculate for QS, this is the equation. Alright, so uh, summation of QS equal to summation of alpha CU P delta L. Yeah? So P is the parameter yeah, of the pi. So pi D. Right, equal to 1.436 meter. Okay, now you can prepare the following table. Alright, so depth, yeah, refer this is the uh, create in uh, parameter given in equation. Yeah, so depth 0 to 3. Yeah, so the delta L, yeah, so it's 3 lah. Alright, 3 minus 1, I mean, minus 0 so is 3. Yeah. And CU is given in the equation here, yeah, it's 25. And then alpha, yeah, you, you should refer here, lah, yeah, for, uh, for the alpha method, yeah, so to determine the alpha, so CU over PA. So PA is 10 uh, kilonewton per meter square, all right. So CU for uh, first layer is 25 so 25 yeah divide by 100 so you get 0 0.25 lah. so it's about here so you do the interpolation yeah so you get uh, alpha equal to 0 0.87 here yeah 0.87 all right okay and then you can do for the rest lah. Alright. Okay. So. And uh, and then you can calculate for QS. Using this equation. Yeah. This one. Right. So you get the first layer. The QS is uh, 93.7. Yeah. So you can do for the rest lah. Alright. For that 3 to 10 meter. And 10 to 20 meter. Right. And then total uh, QS. Yeah. Summing, uh, summation of uh, all the layer for the QS is approximately equal to 1050 kN. Alright. Okay, now we move to second uh, method which is uh, lam lambda method. Lah. So first you have to calculate for FAV. Yeah? Yeah? So in order to calculate for FAV, so you have to uh, get you have to find what is the average value of cu so you can use this equation yeah as i explained in the slide here yeah so to calculate for cu you use uh, this equation yeah and then you have to calculate for mean effective stress yeah uh, sigma not prime yeah using this equation all right so to calculate for average cu so this is the equation right and then 
T cube Cu yeah, for each of the layer into the equation. Yeah. So you get average Cu, yeah, average value of Cu equal to 62.75 yeah, kilonewton per meter square. All right. To obtain the average value for sigma um, not prime, so using this equation. Uh. So, A1, so this area, yeah, alright, and then second and third area, yeah. So, first is uh, rectangular and then trapezium for second <coughs> layer and third is the trapezium also. So, you get A lah. For each layer, divide by 20. Yeah? So, the length of the pile is 20. 3 plus 7 plus 10, 20. So, you get sigma um, not prime yeah, equal to 98.85 kilonewton per meter square. Alright. Then, you can calculate for FAV. Yeah? So, in order to calculate for FAV, you... So, this is the equation just now, yeah? FAV. So, you have to find what is lambda here, yeah? So, to get the lambda, yeah? You can use this equation, uh, this uh, table, alright? So, now the length of the pile is 20. Then, you get lambda equal to 0.173, alright? So, here, yeah? Lambda is equal to... 0.173 Alright And then you can calculate for FAV lah, Substitute all the uh, Value into the equation This equation yeah. So you get FAV Equal to 38.81 kilonewton Per meter square Alright And then calculate for QS yeah. QS equal to P times L times FAV Yeah so, P, as I mentioned, is the parameter of the pile, yeah? Uh, this is the equation, yeah? Pi, D, yeah? So, this is the D, the diameter of the pile. So, L is 20, FAV calculated above here. Then, you get QS equal to 1114.4 kilonewton, alright? <clears throat> then, we move to third. Uh, method lah, which is beta method. So, the top 10 layer, yeah, is uh, normally uh, consolidated. This one is mentioned in the equation lah, here, yeah. Or top 10 meter, yeah, is normal consolidated. And the, the rest, yeah, the bottom, yeah, is the uh, over consolidated clay, yeah. Okay, now, Calculate for FAV, yeah? For normally consolidated, you use this equation. Alright? And then substitute the value, yeah? Uh, sigma, uh, phi r prime is given in equation 30. Here. Yeah? This one, given in equation. Right? And then substitute the value into this equation. Then you get FAV for first layer. Yeah? For first layer equal to 6.93 kilonewton per meter squared. Right? And then similarly for uh, second layer. Yeah? 3 to 10 yeah, meter. So FAV using, um, using a same equation. Yeah? So, you get FAV for second layer is 21.12, alright? Okay, kilonewton per meter square, alright? And then for the third layer, yeah, for 10 to 20 meter, yeah, is over-consolidated clay. So, use different equation for over-consolidated clay. Yeah, you have to consider for... OCR. So, OCR is given the equation is 2. Eh? The value is 2 here. Right? So, substitute all the value into the equation. Then, you get, you get FAV for third layer is uh, 
0.86 kilonewton per meter square. Alright. And then calculate for QS. Yeah? So this is the equation. Alright. To calculate for the QS for beta method. Alright. Then you substitute the value. Then you get QS equal to 1058.45 kilonewton. Alright. Okay, then finish for question uh, A. Yeah, now we move to question B. Yeah, using QP equal to one hundred fifty one kilonewton, estimate the allowable um pile capacity. Yeah, so now QU equal to QP plus QS. Yeah, right. Q ultimate equal to QP. Yeah. Plus QS, yeah. QP, yeah, equal to one hundred fifty one is given in the equation, yeah. Kilonewton is given in the equation, alright. And then QS, yeah. For the uh, to calculate for the QS, yeah, we use average for every of the met QS for every of the method the f as calculated above here yeah above this now right and then qs yeah equal to qs for uh alpha method is 150 for beta uh, lambda method is here yeah one uh, thousand one hundred fourteen point four all right and then for the beta method is here yeah one thousand fifty eight Point four uh, five, so divide by three, then you get QS approximately equal to one thousand seventy four kilonewton. Alright, to calculate for Q allowable, yeah, equal to QU, yeah, this now QU, yeah, Q U given by this equation, alright, QU equal to QP plus um QS, eh, over Factor of safety lah. Yeah. Okay. So, in the equation, the factor of safety that we use is, uh, so we use 3 here lah. Alright. Okay. So, divide by a 3. Yeah. So, you get uh, Q allowable equal to 408.3. Yeah. So, this is the uh, solution. Uh, value lah. Alright. So, that's all for question 2. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye student. Assalamualaikum.